What is up, y'all? This is Andy with Poster Grind, your neighborhood art director that designs movie posters for a living. Today, I'm excited to share with you a two-for-one tutorial where we're going to take this beautiful image, transform it into more of a digital bitmap pixelated image with color and also just your normal bitmap duotone old school computer screen style effect. So without further ado, let's dive on in. <laughs> what? For this project, I'll be using a template that is 20 inches wide, 13.5 inches high with a resolution of 150. If you wanna follow along precisely, make sure your resolution is at 150. Now this is a very cool photo I picked up over at the stock photography website known as Envato.com, which happens to be an amazing resource for graphic designers out there. Envato has an amazing subscription plan for about 16 a month or 200 for the year. And that's unlimited downloads of all of their assets and photography. So definitely check them out and be sure to use the affiliate link below to help our channel. Now let's go ahead and scale this image up by hitting Command T on your keyboard. And I'm gonna zoom out a little bit by hitting Command negative. And then I'm just going to scale up like so. I basically wanna focus on the eyes for this project. Now in order to get this into a bitmap format, we're going to have to go to image mode and then from mode to grayscale as you can see we can't do bitmap until we're in grayscale so hit grayscale merge discard and now we have a grayscale template now that we're in grayscale we can go back up to image mode bitmap flatten layers okay and then on here let's go ahead and put this at 45 for our pixels per inch. Make sure you're on halftone screen and hit OK. Now on halftone screen, you basically need to figure out what's gonna work best for your project. You can go back and forth to figure it out, but for this one, I'm gonna set the frequency lines per inch at 85 with an angle of 45 and the shape cross. Hit OK. Let's go ahead and zoom in by hitting Command Plus and see what we just created. It's really cool effect already, but to take this further, we got to go back to RGB mode in order to be able to edit because right now we can't do anything. So the easy way to do that is by going up to image, mode, grayscale, okay. And now we're in grayscale, but we need to still get back to RGB. So we're gonna go to image, mode, RGB. Now we're in RGB and we can go ahead and use colors and edit this like any other RGB format. However, before we move forward, we need to go to image size because right now it's dropped us back down to 45. We need to get this back to 150. So I'm gonna type in 150 and hit okay. And I'm gonna zoom out and take a look at our image. Pretty cool. Now we can start messing with the image and colorizing. However, before we move forward, please do me a solid and hit that like button and feel free to subscribe if you're digging this content. Thanks so much. Now what I wanna do is bring back in that original image that we had. Now that image obviously is not sized correctly, so what we're gonna do is drop the opacity to 50% or around 50%, hit Command T and scale it up and get this to match the image below. As soon as you've matched the image below, let's be sure to change our opacity back to 100, and now we can mess around with the blending mode. So we're gonna go to blending mode, and then we're gonna go to either hard light or linear light, both of which look pretty cool. I think for this project, we'll use linear light. Now let's go ahead and take a look of what we've just created. From here, go ahead and hit new layer, and then we're going to basically merge all the bottom layers to create that new layer. And the easy way to do that is using the hotkeys, shift, option, command, E. Then we're gonna turn this into a smart object by right-clicking, going down to convert to smart object. From here, we can go ahead and mess around with the filter gallery and go ahead and get our pixels working even better. To do that, let's go to filter, filter gallery, and then once you're in filter gallery, go to patchwork. 
Patchwork is gonna be under your texture folder. And in here, we can go ahead and mess around with the sizes of the squares and the relief. For this particular image, I'm gonna use a square size of eight and the relief at zero. I'm gonna hit okay. And like that, we are pretty close to the finish line with the digital effect. But you can notice how these squares are a little, have a little too much of an edge. So we're going to taper that off a little bit by going to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And then we're just gonna add a little bit of a blur to get those pixels to look a little less strong. So I'm gonna go with 1.6. And like that, we have the first part of this tutorial. We've colorized and digitized our image. Now, another cool thing, since we've already done the heavy lifting, is we can go ahead and turn this bottom bitmap into its own piece of art of just using a duotone. To do that, I'm gonna to go to new layer, then I'm gonna use those same hotkeys, shift, option, command, E, and I'm gonna turn that into another smart object just so that we can use that later on if we have to. And then above this layer, we're gonna use a gradient map. So we're going to adjustment layers, gradient map. And then in your gradient map, go ahead and hit this scale to bring up the gradient editor. And now what we wanna do is basically have our stops be a green to black. So we're gonna click on this white stop and we're gonna to go to black, hit okay. And then on this last stop to the right, we're gonna to go to color and then we're going to green like that and then hit okay. And then on your gradient editor, hit okay one more time. And this is pretty strong. I'm kind of going for like an old school computer monitor from the 80s. So we're just gonna drop the opacity on that gradient map to desaturate it. And from here, we have our computer screen bitmap effect. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching.